Hi everyone. Uh, this one I'm going to talk about is the relationship between multiples and DCF. And it's just this, this is sort of an extension about what we had talked about uh, in the early in, la, in the first year. But now we're going to really try and t look at it a little bit more detail and what the implications are for looking at multiples. All right. And so uh, this whole idea of multiples. Evaluation is uh, all about judgment, and evaluation multiple is just an expression of the market value relative to some key statistic. So we talk about what I pay, the pay, and what I get. And so we're going to focus on that. So well, let's sort of start with some basic issues uh, related to multiples, and the ones we're going to focus on today are enterprise multiples. And so we talk about enterprise multiples, we usually talk about enterprise value to EBIT. Enterprise value to EBIT DA and enterprise value to sales. So we have a measure of value, which is enterprise value, and what you get is either EBIT, EBITDA, or sales. So it depends on what you want to look at it for that. Now to make this useful, we should first start with what do we mean by the enterprise value? Because I think it's important. It has a different connotation sometimes when we're talking about multiples. And so here, when we talk about enterprise value, there's two ways of looking at enterprise value. Is one is the market value of equity, okay, plus debt minus excess cash. And we refer to that as enterprise value. And basically, we're talking about the value of the operating operations of the firm. Hence, we want to take, hence we want to take out cash, excess cash. Now, I, it always comes back. What's the excess cash? Clearly, if it's marketable securities, excess cash should go out. Uh, a lot of times, it's just what by just the way people do it, they just take all the cash out. So they don't make it. Try to make a distinction between operating cash and excess cash. I think if we talk one when in doubt, just take it out. All right. And so the other way it's often you often see it would be the market value value of equity, okay, plus net debt, excuse me, net debt and net debt is just total debt. Minus cash, and again, this is probably excess cash. Okay, and we refer to that as enterprise value. Now, essentially, it's the same thing, but a lot of times you see market cap, market value of equity minus net debt, but or you could just take market value of equity plus debt minus the excess cash. Either way, it's the basic definition of enterprise basic definition of enterprise value for the firm. And that's the one we want to use in each one of those things when we look at uh, enterprise value multiples. All right. 